credit card reform, credit card reform bill has passed. As you can see, it was pretty popular, although it took the Republicans to put it over because more Democrats voted against it than for it. But the Republicans were overwhelmingly in favor of it, 173 to 2. Now it goes to the president for his signature. There's talk of creating a special agency to protect consumers of financial products, a kind of financial product safety commission. Is that what we really need? Isn't that whole alphabet soup of regulators supposed to be doing that already? Here now, Ann Kim, director of the economics program at Third Way, and Mark Calabria, director of financial regulation studies at the Cato Institute. Ann, I'll start with you. I thought we had this covered already. You know, we don't. This proposal at bottom is about bringing order to what is now regulatory chaos. It's about bringing simplicity to what is now complex. You know, everyone by now has heard about that New York Times economics reporter who has gotten in over his head. This is going to bring a lot of simplicity to the system and give consumers what they need in order to make the right decisions and become better borrowers and consumers. So we need yet another federal bureaucracy. This is not going to be another federal bureaucracy for the sake of another federal bureaucracy. You've got to remember that the SEC, the Fed, these were agencies that were created during the Great Depression. They're 70 years old. The financial system has really moved on, and we need a modern system of regulation to keep up with modern products and the modern complexities that people deal with in trying to choose the right mortgage for them. This agency is not going to be telling people what to do. Bad decisions come from bad information. It's going to streamline what consumers have and help them make the right choices. Mark, what do you think? Well, I, I don't think we need it. While I would certainly agree there's lots of complexity out there, I ask myself, if we had had something like this in place where we have avoided the current financial crisis, and to me the answer is no. I think the fundamental notion that somehow the financial crisis, the housing bubble, the mortgage crisis, the foreclosures were all caused by bad products, to me that's flawed. If you look at the number one cause of default on any consumer credit, it's because somebody's lost their job or they've had a reduction in income. This wouldn't change any of that. And, you know, if you want some more evidence of that, look at the so-called safe products. FHA mortgage is supposed to be the gold standard of safe. Its own default rates are as bad as subprime. Or you look at Fannie and Freddie, we're the conventional mortgage. We've been pumping tens of billions of dollars in the Freddie and Fannie to cover losses from so-called safe products. Yeah, but so you know fundamentally what, Mark, to me... I mean, I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, I don't have data, but intuitively, remembering the credit card solicitations that I was getting in the mail every week, uh, it's hard for me to think that that wasn't a part of the problem, the foisting upon the American public of uh, easy credit. And let me, let me say, I, I do partly agree with you that that was part of the problem. My fundamental concern is we're going to spend a lot of time talking about this while we're not talking about actually fixing the fundamental problem. Which I mean, is? what did these mortgages have? Well, the fundamental problems are the monetary policy we had. The fundamental problems were our own credit policies that encouraged housing speculation. You know, all these products would have worked fine in the mortgage industry if housing prices just kept going up. But they weren't going to go up. So how do we deal at making sure that we don't have a housing bubble every 10 to 15 years like we have? How do we so do that? I am just, in, and, and I think that's a very fundamental question. I think the first thing that Washington should do, if Washington is serious, if you look at mortgages, for instance, the characteristic of a mortgage that is most determinative of whether that mortgage will default is how much equity it has. But right now today, you can go to FHA, get a mortgage with 3.5% equity, and in six months, you're going to be underwater on that. Congress, you know, Washington has led the charge in terms of getting people into products, particularly mortgages, in which they're unsustainable. So if Washington is serious, well, let's stop putting these Washington, D.C. designed products that aren't sustainable out there. Let's clean up our own house. And, and under FHA, for instance. And Mark's making a lot of sense to me. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, he's right that we have to get back to the fundamental problems here. And one of the fundamental problems we have to address is the complexity, not only the regulatory structure, but also the products that are out there. If you ask anybody on the street, you know, do you choose a five-year option arm, interest-only mortgage, or do you use a 10? Do you know what an all-day mortgage is? People don't know the answer to these questions. And the fact that they don't know the answer to these questions is part of why we're in the mess that we're in. We need a modern regulatory scheme that 
here's what's happening now. Basically, you have a car, the mechanic is looking, there's one mechanic looking at the tires, another one looking at the engine, but no one's looking to see if the entire car is running. That's the problem with the regulatory scheme we have now. The Obama administration is proposing that there be one mechanic that looks at the entire car and see if it's running smoothly. That is fixing a fundamental problem and is a right step in the right direction. Mark, you get the last word. I, I want to say that I think Anne is on a very right point here, which is the complexity. My fear is that we don't consolidate all of this protection into one agency, but that we just add another layer and that we still leave all of the complexity in enforcement at the other agencies. And I want to say I am very fundamentally concerned that some mortgage lender sits across the table from you and says, oh, you don't need to read this. It's been government approved. It's got the seal of safety on it. So I am concerned ultimately that we undermine the incentive for consumers to do some due diligence themselves. All right. And Mark, thank you very much. Appreciate your thoughts.